Yo, what's happening to everybody? Welcome back to Cooking in the Hood with Rome and y'all see what's going on. I'm coming at y'all with another live and direct food review from none other than cha -ching, KFC. I'm gonna be um, reviewing the barbecue chicken sandwich, the new ultimate barbecue chicken sandwich. Hey, look, I'm a real big fan of KFC because I love original chicken. I love the, I love the flavor, I love the taste. Uh, and also, I love chicken. All right, so this is what it comes in. You know what I'm saying? I guess they saying it's fried to order. You know, so we're going to see what's happening. According to the order, it says it has bacon, onions, and Swiss cheese. So I'm definitely excited about that. Y'all see the big bullies, you know what I'm saying, on my hat. Fresh white tea as usual. It is Fast Food Fridays. I'm back in it doing food reviews. Um, some would say, quote unquote, Freaky Friday. You know what I'm saying? Whatever y'all doing, man, be safe. If y'all out moving around with y'all families and whatnot, be safe, be smooth, be respectful. Because I'm about to get real, real disrespectful with this sandwich. First bite, y'all. First bite. Gotta have something to chase this down with. The fried onions is somewhat overpowering, but it, but it gives it a real it gives it a real live taste. The barbecue and the Swiss it ties in just right. But for whatever reason, I need just a little bit more spice. But the cost of this sandwich is $8.09. To me, that's a little expensive. But it is huge. Mm -mm. Now, when I come to a restaurant, y'all already know. There's a couple of different things that I actually go by. Not only the food, it's about the dining experience. Number one was I greeted when I came to the door. Absolutely. The um, cashier and manager greeted me very, very polite. Number two, how did I feel about the actual service? The actual soda machine was out, so they had to pass me that behind, from behind the counter. They lost a couple points with that. Then number two, or number three, they thought that they were out of forks. They still delivered. And everybody's, I know y'all might be wondering, why do you need a fork if you're eating a chicken sandwich? My response to you is, don't be nosy. Give me one more bite. Y'all check it out. Y'all see it? Believe it or not, with every single bite, the sandwich is growing on me. Because the flavors are so consistent. It's not too much barbecue sauce, not too much bacon, not too much cheese. Everything is just right.
So right now, KFC is going real good. But, as you all know, I'm a man that's full of surprises. Huh? And I'm also a man of integrity as well as morals. A principle. Yeah. I had to do it. I had to do it. Me being from Louisiana, for everybody out there that don't know, one of my favorite meals was fried chicken, potatoes, mashed potatoes, and corn. KFC somehow has mastered the art of that. Look at that. It almost matches my hat either way. But I'm finna do a review on this as well. And so far, uh, while I'm doing that, they're in the middle of putting up some new advertisements and different things like that. No, the store is not dirty. Um, so they they hitting it on every level right now except the pop machines out. So we chilling. I'm enjoying my time at KFC. You don't hear a lot of loud noises and different things like that. The employees are under control. Everybody's well groomed. That's a good thing. That's what you really want to see. Especially when you didn't spend $17. So, all right. So this was the famous bowl. It cost me $7.49 and it included a pop. Alright. So the grand total of my meal was $17.10. Really not bad. I'm eating really good. Let's see what's happening. You gotta be real good, real good to even be in a conversation. I'm not even gonna mention her name because they ain't there yet. But but this is real good. And it's a lot of food. The mashed potatoes are all the way down. Only thing about it is I wish they would have included more chicken. It's more mashed potatoes and corn than chicken. So it's almost like you gotta play with them. But just since we're doing a food review, mm -hmm. you see it? I thought I was gonna be knocked off my socks, right? Usually, sometimes when I come to KFC, I actually get an actual pepper. I didn't see those. I'm not exactly sure if they if they discontinued those. Definitely, this is begging for salt and pepper. So let's see if they included some in the bag. No salt and pepper in the bag. That's a no-no. But to stay consistent with what I'm saying, the meal is not bad for seventeen dollars. Um, the chicken sandwich was most definitely good. I think it was a star. Of what I got, the famous bowl, yeah. um, it's not that famous. At this point, it's not. It's not bad, but it's not great. So, what's going to be my rating for KFC today? I think it's going to be a nice 7.3. Um, just because of a couple different vari variables. Number one, the pop machine was down. Number two, they didn't have the forks available. Number three, there was no salt and pepper. Um, everything else, and maybe I'm being too hard. Maybe I should go up to a a solid 8.5 8.5 yeah yeah because other than that everything is fine uh the store was clean the employees were nice everything was good so thanks again for tuning in tuning in to cooking in the hood with rome i am jay love the food guy and y'all know what's going on let me remind y'all what i got going right now
can't beat it. You cannot beat it. If y'all around KFC in y'all neighborhood, y'all take a stop and buy it. I promise you, this new uh, barbecue chicken sandwich, fried chicken sandwich is on point. If you get the famous bowl, make sure that they put enough chicken in the bowl and don't fill it up with mashed potatoes. But thanks again for tuning in to Cooking in the Hood with, with Rome. I am J Love the Food Guy. Follow me on TikTok, J Love the Food Guy. Follow me on YouTube at Chicken and Kool Aid Podcast. I'm a holler, man. Y'all have a great evening.